The Woodland, Texas, or Woodlands, Texas. The friendliest people? I don't know. It's up there. So I'm in the Woodlands, Texas, right? Actually, I'm in Spring, Texas right now, but the Woodlands is literally just that way, or yeah, that way, whatever the, what direction that is. And uh, every time I talk to somebody, they're just friendly. So I was walking back. So what happened is I'm picking up Maddie from, uh, from her internship here in Houston. And there's no chairs, so I'm going to go sit in the pot. I'm not taking a, a deuce. I'm actually sitting in the pot because it's the only chair I have anymore. Anyway, so Maddie was in an internship down here at Houston for HP. And, uh, and uh, it's in, in the woodlands. And uh, she's come back. For, I'm picking her up. We're driving back tomorrow. We're driving back to Georgia tomorrow. And uh, I tell you, man, it's just nice. Everyone's friendly. Everyone. I'm walking back. So uh, she was on a uh, call yesterday for work. So I had a, uh, I was getting some lunch at H-E-B. H-E-B. Howard E. Butts. Yeah, I think it's his name. Howard E. Butts. Butts. Get it? B-U-T-T-S. Big Butts. Ah. Anyway, um, I come back from H-E-B and I'm walking. There's some Asian guy with these two five-gallon buckets. And uh, we're waiting on the street light to turn. I said, man, I hope you don't have far to carry those. He goes, no, I'm just going right over there. Uh, I said, oh, what are you doing with them? He goes, I'm you know, putting some carpet in and whatnot. A younger age guy, too, younger than me. And, uh, and we just got to chat and all that. And I said, man, this heat down here. He goes, yeah, it's normally not this bad, but it's pretty hot in the summertime. I said, I live in Atlanta. We just got to chatting. He goes, I said, it's like only 85 today in Atlanta, which is pretty low, but man, it's better than here. He goes, yeah, but we get summer, we get Christmas in shorts. I said, yeah, that's true. And, uh, Stock is one guy, uh, another some other uh, guy. So, you know, the black guys, Spanish guys, Indian guys, Asian guys, white guys, everyone's just nice, man. Every single person I talk to down here is just nice. I don't think I showed, shared this story with you before, but we moved, when I moved her in in May, so we had to, uh, we literally had to park our U Haul like down the halfway, uh, like two, uh, like, yeah, about, I'm about a block and a half away. Pain in the ass. And uh, she has this big mattress, Maddie does. I, I don't understand it. When I was her age, I just had this tiny little twin or whatever it's called, and she's got this big old queen, I think. Maybe even a king. <laughs> anyway, kids today. Um, so we had to move that mattress, just me and her. And uh, what we had to do is we had to take out the U-Haul, put it on our truck, my car, my wife's car, because we drove the car down here. Because what it is is that we hired this iPod thing, or whatever it's called, pod, and they deliver it for us. They park it, and they had to park it way down there. So anyway, to move it from the pod into the, into the house, we weren't gonna be able to carry that two blocks with Maddie, you know what I'm saying? Cause she's not a very big girl. So we had, I was trying to put it on the, on the uh, roof of my car and I was gonna have Maddie drive and just gonna hold on to it and walk it almost like a secret service detail with the president, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I was having a hard time cause she wasn't able to help me very much cause uh, her mattress is heavy. So some big guys walking around us with this little tiny little pool and he goes, you need a hand with that. I said, well, yeah, I do. And uh, we got to chat, and turns out he used to play for the Atlanta Falcons. I said, man, because he saw our Georgia tags. He goes, I love living in Atlanta. I said, yeah, what were we doing there? He goes, well, I was playing for the Falcons. And sure enough, he did. And I said, you remember William Andrews? Remember him, the running back for the Falcons in the early 80s, early to mid 80s? I think he went to Georgia, if memory serves. I think he did. Did William Andrews go to Georgia? I can't remember. I think he did. Anyway, um, he goes, oh, yeah, that's part of the play where he tore out his knee in, like, spring training or, or you know, a training a practice, you know what I'm saying, in a summer camp. I was like, man, that's crazy. So we looked him up, and sure enough, man, I was like, damn, I think he even got a couple games in the NFL, but he tore out his knee himself, this guy. Couldn't believe it. Anyway, so he helped us out. He moved all this stuff for us, an old guy, an older guy, you know, probably, you know, he's 10 years older than me, and I'm 53, so he's mid-60s. Helped us, no problem. Just is great. I love it. It's just too freaking hot, dude. Oh, my goodness. But it's not that bad. At least in Phoenix, you can say it's a dry heat. Here, it's not a dry heat. Here, it's a freaking humid heat. I was like checking yesterday. It's like 104. feels like 110. I was telling my wife, I said, man, I don't know how people live. My sister lives down here. My half-sister. She lives in south of Houston. I said, I got to text her. I said, how the hell do you deal with this crap? This is nuts. We're just in and I actually, um, I didn't see her this time because we're in and out here today. We had to move all this. Maddie wasn't well prepared, so I'm basically cleaning up for her because she's out in Houston right now meeting with some of her friends from her internship while I'm all doing the grunt work. Yeah, knucklehead. Kids do. Spoil them, spoil them to death. Anyway, everyone's nice. The Woodlands is 
freaking they're great. They have a freak. I think they got a hockey rink over there. They got a convention center. They got all kind of you know, movie theater, all kinds of shops. It's fantastic, man. Woodlands has got. I got a client who's moving to the Woodlands. I'm not sure where he's moving, but uh, people are nice. People are friendly. It's just, it's, I like it. You know, everyone's just, no one's. I mean, I'm sure there's some uppity people, but I just like, you know, everyone I've talked to, even the people at Starbucks, nice as can be. You know, because Starbucks is hoity-toity, you know what I'm saying? They don't like my kind of Starbucks. They smell me a mile away. They're like, yeah, we don't like your kind. I was like, why? Because I'm white? Yeah, but more because you come from a, you know, you're pole white. Pole white. We don't like those pole whites running around here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we just like rich whites from Seattle. We don't like those pole whites from Maine. I said, well, you got Starbucks in Maine. Yeah, but, you know, where a Starbucks in Portland, Maine is, you know where it is. Yeah, I do. Ain't no poor whites up there, son. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to be driving back later on today. So we'll be back in, in uh, Georgia tonight, and it'll be a good time. So, all right. If you guys have any experience with the Woodlands, let me know. Put in the show notes. But if you're looking for a place to move and you can handle the heat, I can't take it. It's like in Phoenix. Every time I'm, in, I'm inside, I freeze my tush off. I go outside, I sweat my tush off. I come back inside, I freeze my tush off because everyone keeps the freaking air conditioning way down. I was in uh, Dunkin' Donuts yesterday getting a coffee, a decaf, and uh, I was waiting on Maddie to do something for her to pick me up. I had to sit outside. I was like, it's too cold in here. No wonder why the grid's going down. I will see you.